I'm Tawanda Jordan, the president of St. Mary's College of Maryland, the National Public Honors College. On behalf of our college and the Chesapeake Orchestra, welcome to the 22nd River Concert Series. We're looking a little different this summer. Instead of seeing you in person Friday nights on our townhouse green, we will gather virtually where maestro Jeff Silberschlag has thoughtfully prepared an impressive season. And what great timing. We know that social upheavals, such as the ones we're in now, are catalysts for incredible artistic contributions and change. Throughout history, artists have reflected society and inspired engagement. Their art connects us and helps us to heal. Challenging times are when we need our artists to be at their best and most sincere, as they undoubtedly are in the river concerts you will experience. Thank you to all the musicians and partners who joined in this endeavor, both locally and globally. We appreciate your shining a light during these dark and uncertain times, and we hope that the music will inspire us all to be the change we need to see. On behalf of St. Mary's College, I invite you to tune in to the six concerts Maestro Jeff has in store for us, and join us on this annual journey that continues to stir our hearts and minds. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to our 2020 River Concert Series season, our 22nd season, our first online. And we're excited about the online version and perhaps uh, as we return to normal concerts, outdoor concerts in the future, we may still have an online element to those concerts. I'm Jeff Silberschlag, Music Director of the Chesapeake Orchestra and the River Concert Series. Tonight's program is called Let Us Break Bread Together and it begins with a performance by Sherry Fenwick, the music director of the Southern Maryland Community Gospel Choir and Chesapeake Orchestra Brass Players. And we'll be playing the famous gospel, Let Us Break Bread Together. And then we are gonna offer some things that we had been preparing for the Alba Music Festival, a Botticini Concerto for an unlikely pairing of clarinet, bass, and piano. And also uh, Mercadante, who was a contemporary of Giuseppe Verdi, his trio for trumpet, French horn, and piano. We'll also have a contribution direct from Italy by Giuseppe Nova, flutist, our colleague and co-partner in uh, Italy. And we have some additional fun things for you to view. We hope you enjoy this program, and I look forward to presenting it to you and hearing from you.
So, Malad, Alec, we're so thrilled to have you on the first program of our Digital River concert series. It's great to be here, Zach. Thank Would, you. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Could you introduce each other? Would you be willing, you Malad? Want to introduce each other. Yes, well, Malad. Would you? Would you introduce Alec and Alec Malad? So this is Alec Manassi. Um, he's a clarinet player, a wonderful clarinetist, and I've really had just the best time playing with him. He goes to the Juilliard School. He comes from a family of musicians, you know, clarinetists and cellists, and he's related to uh, the Silver Slugs, who are his cousins. Uh, so it's really just a big musical family, and I'm having a great time becoming a part of it. So, Alec, could you tell us a little bit about Malad? Where does he come from? What instrument he plays? Yes, Malad hails from Texas. He is a beautiful bass player who I'm very lucky to have collaborated with on this Bodicini. He's a graduate of the Manhattan School of Music, and now he's my friend. <laughs> and also the orchestra now, and he's working in New York. Where we work together from time to time. Yeah. We, work for, we work together. So, so could we're you tell us a little bit about, uh, on this program, we're featuring Italian trios. So Nathaniel and I will be performing the America Dante Trio for horn, trumpet, and piano. And oh, really? you will be performing the Bottasini Trio for bass, clarinet, and piano. Could you tell us a little bit about the piece, how you came to it, and what it's like? Yeah, so, so we're playing this uh, duo concerto for uh, clarinet and bass, which is... Uh, by Giovanni Bottasini, who was a really, you know, one of the eminent bass soloists of his time. And known all, as the Paganini of the bass. Known as the Paganini right. of the bass, yes. And bass players love to play him, but this piece is not played as often as his other works. It has the bass in a special tuning, a minor third scordatura, which is much higher than the bass is normally heard, which really allows it to blend with the clarinet in a, in a special way. I agree. It's a real treat. You can really hear, you know, Bodicini was a very prolific opera composer, and in this piece you can really hear the clarinet and the bass acting perhaps as two characters in an opera. Lo lovers, lovers, lovers potentially. Starcross. Starcross lovers. Right. And I, I'm, I'm so thrilled to have gotten to watch you guys record it because I found the instrumentation, which is a little bit unorthodox, to be so well balanced. And it, it, you'll notice when you're hearing the trio that you can hear each voice individually when they're playing together. Right. Thanks so much. And could you tell us, um, how did you get such nice haircuts in this quarantine? My haircut was actually given by the principal horn of the Cleveland Orchestra, Nathaniel Silberschlag. And I implore all the citizens of Cleveland, if they're looking for an affordable and trendy haircut, <laughs> to contact Nathaniel Silberschlag, a man of many, many talents. He did my hair as well. Thank you. And I think that we just can't wait to watch the episode. And we thank you so much for being here. We thank hope you, you enjoy.
Hello, this is Nathaniel Silberschlag, Principal Horn of the Cleveland Orchestra. Welcome to the Digital River Concert Series. I grew up in St. Mary's County, and obviously the River Concert Series has been a part of my whole life. Being in its 22nd season, it is as old as me. I started off as one of the children playing every sort of sport and game on the backfield behind the tent. And as soon as I could hold the horn in my hand comfortably, I was on stage performing with everyone. Just as the River Series has had a huge impact on myself, I know the River Series has made a huge impact on the entire community. And this year, we're so excited to be able to come into your home, bringing the Digital River Concert Series. Thank you.
Dear friends, greetings from Alba. We are all living in a very confusing and demanding period, but as musician and producer we decided not to stop the music. Art and culture are essential part of our life, and the difficult moments have to be faced in order to bring to the people our contribution as artists. I'm glad about the River Concert Series online. We did our festival in Alba online as well this year, at the end of May, with the contribution of many of uh, the US friends. You may watch it, by the way, on the Alba Music Festival YouTube channel. So best wishes for this really special edition. Don't miss any event and be part all year long of the classical music community. I want to thank, thank so much Jeff, Debbie and all the Silverschlag family for the giant effort they have done to keep the festival going on and involve many artists and musicians in the summer festival. I personally performed many times at the River Series concert and this represents for me an unforgettable artistic and human experience. I hope to see you in Alba next spring 2021. Music will continue to build bridge this, bridges with, between the people to tie together artists and communities. And my wish is to continue the long tradition of relation and friendship between the Alba Music Festival, the city of Alba, and the St. Mary's College of Merit. Please enjoy your summer on the Chesapeake Bay. See you soon with music and friendship. Take care and stay safe.